I can paint just about anything. If you ever want to find Tammy Hinkle. So much. I love it so much. Look no further than her home studio. I'll be in here till 1130 at night sometimes. It's a place where hours slip away. Yes, yes, they fly by when I'm painting. They fly by. The professional artist creates lifelike portraits and landscapes. I like to focus on realism, hyper-realism, sometimes they call it, of making something look real or making, uh, painting something that would fool one's eye. Climbing scaffolding stories high to paint a mural was not uncommon during her 37-year career. I feel like it's my gift. I mean, I feel like God blessed me with this for a reason. The 57-year-old Norfolk native can't remember a time yeah. when she wasn't holding a paintbrush. Let's go to first grade. Tammy even put her goals in ink. But I knew what I wanted to be when I grew up. I wanted to be an artist. Painting has been her calling. And the fact that I can bring joy to other people doing what I love to do, it is just, it's amazing. The artist pours her heart into each canvas. Lifelike pet portraits have been the most requested right now. Capturing her clients, loved ones, and animals with striking detail. I get this kind of odd separation anxiety when the paintings leave my studio. I really do miss them when they leave. So I'm extremely connected to them. Many of Tammy's subjects have passed on. A sweet lady who lost her son at the age of 22 and these are literally all of her memories. The married mother of two feels a great responsibility to get it right. I put a whole lot of hours into this painting, but I wanted it to be as close to perfect as I could. Her paintings are priced well into the hundreds and even thousands of dollars, but that is not her motivation. Tammy even donates some of her canvases to causes she believes in. This is Bobby. Bobby's the winner of the Mutt Strut giveaway. I'm very proud of, of what she's accomplished and also how she, she helps people. Her artwork even led to marriage. More than 30 years ago, husband Chris noticed Tammy painting a mural at his gym. She's very talented and uh, she enjoys doing it. That's what's important too. Some people may be good at something but then not enjoy what they do. So it completes her and uh, it's a big part of her life. With thousands of paintings under her bristles, nothing seems to stop Tammy not even blindness. I was born with uh, what they call amblyopia. Now my left eye and my brain have stopped communicating. Her condition left her legally blind on her left side. I'm not sure how I can paint with one eye. Um, it's kind of a mystery. <laughs> Tammy's right eye does all the work. Yeah, not many people know. I've never really told them. <laughs> Secret's out. <laughs> one doctor Put it bluntly. I showed him some of my pictures and he just said, you should not be capable of this, period. Her impairment never deters her from doing what she loves. It's like a miracle in a way, honestly. She can't envision a time when she's not painting. It's rewarding in a big way. Tammy Hinkle, an artist who blends colors and compassion in every single stroke. I think when you make the connection between uh, doing what you love to do and bringing joy to other people, that's your purpose. And I found it. Tammy's latest creation, Bobby the Dog, helped raise $5,000 for Fetch a Cure's Much Strut fundraiser. If you'd like to peruse Tammy's paintings, I'll post a link on our show website at WTVR.com. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.